guys, it's Jess. So today I wanted to share with you how I organized my jewelry collection so that it's not taking up a ton of space in my bedroom. So first things first, we're going to take out all of the jewelry that I own and I'm going to lay it down on the rug here. I have a ton, a ton, a ton of jewelry. Jewelry is something that's really difficult for me to get rid of and it's something that's cheap and usually easy to buy. Recently though, I've stopped buying the cheaper jewelry as I found it wears out a lot quicker and it's usually just not even worth the price or the money. So I've invested in a few key pieces of jewelry that I wear really often and I want to just get rid of anything that's old or gross or I just honestly don't wear that much. In the end, I want to keep only the pieces that I absolutely love and that I know I'm going to wear. If I keep something that I just know I'm not going to end up using or wearing, it's honestly just taking up space in my drawer. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys, here's once again the new jewelry box that I bought. And here's what I've been keeping my jewelry in for the past five months. I was in the process of moving and it's all in there. It's definitely not organized and there's probably a lot of stuff that I can get rid of that I just don't end up wearing anymore. I want to see if I can make everything fit in there. First, I'm going to go ahead and go through this box, untangle everything, and get it all laid out on the rug here. Finally got all of my jewelry laid out and out of this box. Over here is kind of just like the pile of things that my jewelry was organized in. Now I have it all laid out and it is sorted by category. I have some just random hair things over here in this section. I don't think I'm gonna end up storing them inside the jewelry box, but I have them laid out here just in case. Up here I have all of my necklaces all of my watches, my bracelets, and then I just kind of threw my earrings and my rings over here that way they wouldn't get lost in the super soft rug. Up here I have um, a little box from Ukraine and it's a wooden hand painted um, box here and it's got a really special diamond necklace in there. So I'm having that sit in there just for the time being until I can find a safe place for that. Over here, this is actually what I used to have my jewelry organized on. All my necklaces used to hang up on this. And this was just hanging on the wall at my old place. And I actually still have a spot where I can use this. Um, I don't know that all of my necklaces are going to fit perfectly in here. So this may end up being kind of like secondary storage for some of my necklaces especially my larger necklaces like their statement items over here. I wanted to sit down and show you guys this jewelry box actually before I end up filling it up with all the jewelry that I have laid out over there. I got this from Amazon. As you can see, it says stackers on the front and that's the brand. And if you open the top up, it says stackers in this really pretty gold lettering. And back here we've got some space for necklaces or bracelets and a couple spaces for some bigger items and then a little area for your rings or earrings. And this whole top part actually comes off and you can just lift it straight up. And down here I have um, some watch storage and then over here it's actually sitting over there with my jewelry right now but I've got a little space where you can put rings and earrings some more of that and then this middle part it just says stackers once again but that's open for some larger pieces of jewelry so these were actually two separate parts that I purchased and you can actually get a third one and it's kind of similar to this but there's just a lot of smaller boxes which you can actually end up putting necklaces in and I'm considering if I don't have enough storage in here for all of my necklaces and if I don't want to end up using kind of that old driftwood piece again I may end up purchasing that third box where I can just kind of lay out my jewelry and my necklaces in the individual sections but I think we actually are going to be able to fit quite a bit in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just organize everything and see how much we can fit in this beautiful box here. First things first, I'm going to go through and sort out anything that I just haven't really worn recently or anything that I know I'm not going to wear in the future. I do have a small section of a few pieces that maybe need a little bit of maintenance. Um, and a little bit of care to put them back together, but they're not damaged so badly that I can't wear them again. And then over here, I sadly have like three more necklaces 
and they're just in a really difficult knot and I can't get it out. I didn't want to end up wasting too much time unknotting them right now. So I'm going to save those and see if I can unknot them while I'm watching some television and see if that works. If not, I'll just sadly have to throw all of those necklaces away. But as you can see, I have plenty of things to wear over here and actually some stuff that I've totally forgot that I had just because I hadn't worn it in a year or so. With having to move and packing up and everything, it's been a while. So I'm going to go ahead and see how much we can fit into that jewelry box and put it up in the drawer. So here it is. Everything is done and organized inside. I absolutely love, love, love this. So. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you all. Back here, I've put all of my necklaces. I've got a few um, bigger pieces that just wouldn't fit in the back here. A couple of my bracelets and then all of the rings that I wear pretty regularly. Now back here, I do have some of the necklaces stacked on top of each other. And so I'm wondering if I still should put up that driftwood piece and hang up some of the necklaces or if I should just go ahead and get the third piece to the stackers box and have those individual compartments to place the necklaces in. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do quite yet, so I'm going to leave them back in here for now. Back here is um, kind of like the pile of necklaces I don't wear as often. As up here, these are pretty much my daily necklaces, the things that I wear most often to work. And then if you clasp this back together, I might not be able to do it with one hand, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Under here, we have all of the remaining jewelry. Over here, we've got all of the watches that I wear. And then back here is the bracelet I wore on our wedding day. And I just kind of wanted that to be laid out. It looks really pretty there. This is a watch that my mom actually gave to me that she used to wear and then a watch I got for our wedding day. So everything's laid out nicely over here. And then on this side, I have all of my earrings. And so I've got a lot of, um, I can't remember what you call these, the crawler earrings, um, the ear crawlers. I don't know if that's the right term for it, but I've got a lot of those types of earrings. Then up here, I've kind of got my dangly earrings. These were a special pair from my dad, so I love those and everything's nice and organized. In the middle, it kind of looks a little messy, so I'm not sure that this is exactly what I'm going to use. I've got some larger bracelets over here that just won't fit in this top section. And then I've got all of my statement necklaces, and they're piled nicely. They're not tangled or anything like that, but I've got those kind of piled on top of each other, and I'm not sure that this is where I wanna keep those. I definitely fall into the mindset that if you can't see it, you're not going to end up wearing it. So I'm not sure this is where I want to end up keeping those pieces because they are all stacked up on top of each other. But for now, just to keep this nice and organized, this is where they're going to stay. But I am going to look into moving those to another section. But I am absolutely in love with this piece. If I can get the top on here. There we go. Whoops. Still, there we go. Perfect. So it is actually, I got this in the taupe color and it comes with a nice gold accent. And then I think it was called the gray interior. They've got a few different options online. Um, I know they have one that's a gray outer edge, but then it's got a rose gold clasp and the gold just kind of seemed to fit more in our bedroom and everything. So that's why I went with this color and I'm very pleased with it. As I showed you guys in another video, it's actually going to fit right down in here. I can actually do this one handed. So this is perfect. If I want to get anything out of the top drawer, I actually have to take it out, but it's super easy to just lift off this top piece and then you can leave the bottom section in here because it's a little bit heavier, but I can open this up every morning and just get out the pieces that I wear the most. There we go, I was able to do it this time. So this is actually gonna sit right in here. And now that I'm looking at it inside of the drawer, I have a little bit of space up here where I could technically buy that third piece if I want to. But honestly, I've got this blank wall right here. So maybe this is just where I end up hanging up the necklaces. 
So as you can see, everything fits wonderfully in the jewelry box that I got from Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that stackers box down below. Thanks for watching you guys. Make sure you check out the link down below if you want to pick up one of those stacker boxes for yourself and also hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and then hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos in the future on how to keep your home looking beautiful and organized.